Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're checking out the new season 10, the bus enough for season 10 of Quad Mobile. It might not all be here, and some of them might not be necessarily too accurate, but hopefully, most of them are accurate, and hopefully, most of them will be here. So, yeah, let's get into the video. Today's episode goes to Diverse with a little dot at the end. They will be on the screen here and down below in the description. Make sure to support the content. I do like the content. Make sure to like and subscribe. Turn, turn on that their post notification turn on my post notifications. Subscribe to them, like their videos, support their, support their channel, watch their content. And uh, yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so here you can see the buffs and nerfs. So uh, the M16 will get a new signature, a new signature, um, a part, um, new signature attachment, which is the wild the wildfire part, which will change the M16 from fully auto from a burst of fully auto, and obviously there's no there's no information on the buff the ben, the pe penalties and benefits of it yet. Then for the AK47, it got, also got a buff. It was improved the recoil of the first few shots and improved the f sprint fire delays. So I'm guessing that well, this this is, this is going to help the. Um, the 5.45 mag, I think it is. The RUS got an improved range and improved ADS bullet spread accuracy. So uh, that's going to be a very. That's just going to have obviously a better range, better range here. Okay, so that may, may, may the, uh, the, the, um, the RUS a bit more better, more usable next season. The Hades got improved since it's been to fire. Delay, improved reload speed, and for rapid fire barrel, decreased range penalties. Okay, so that's going to make the um, the Hades would actually a decent gun next year. So it got next season, even not next year, um, because it got um, a significant buff, a significant buff this year, but which still made it a pretty average weapon. Which made it a pretty average weapon instead of a bad weapon, and then this buff might make it an actual viable weapon. We have the CBR four. And the DLQ Locus Koshka and Outlaw and the J358 got improved overall recoil. I don't really understand what, what, what recoil the snipers had, but in terms of the J358 and the CBR, that is a nice, a nice buff for them. The PP, got, the PP Bison got adjusted damage, improved chest multipliers, added lower and upper body hand multipliers, lower and upper hand multipliers, and adjusted range. So I'm guessing this may, this will make the PP Bison actually more viable next next season, as it, it never wasn't it never wasn't viable, but um it's going to make it even better the next season. So we might have a PP Bison and Hades RUS meta next year. And next season even, then the snipers, so the snipers will get a glint. So whenever you ADS and someone else looks at you, they will see a glint. So it will make it easier to get rid of campers whenever they, whenever you have a camping sniper. Then the ZRG, um, I was did, um that I, I pretty much I mostly was told this nerf coming. I had the mag capacity just reduced and the anti ta anti vehicle ammo. This is one that needed enough. What I plus ADS speed penalties and plus reload speed penalties kind of making it similar to the after nerf um, Arctic 50 reload uh, where um, it may mean that less people want to use the anti-vehicle mag I guess then we have the ASM-10 oh wow the Branson barrel has no, barely been released as well ne negative add negative leg multipliers range boost removed uh, increase ADS movement speed penalties and add movement speed penalties. Damn, that's a big enough. No one's going to use, no one's going to want to use that anymore. It was one of those OP. OP. It was one of the nicest attachments, and people actually would use it, but be rarely got to use it at all. That's unfortunate. The QQ9 is another one that no one really want. No, no another buff that not on nerf even that no one really wanted. Reduced damage, and then for the one thing exposure we had to got reduced range boost. And for the 45 round mag, we have the, uh, added ADS speed penalties. That's unfortunate. q is, as you guys probably know, is one of my favourite weapons. So that's a sad sip. We we'll probably move out of the meta. Okay, so the throwing axe. The throwing direction and uh, trajectory is now a straight line. So I'm guessing this will probably make it easier to aim. And like it will probably have a better range as well. So I don't think it will make it overpowered, but it will make it more usable, I guess. Tactical, tactical equipment. Added the ability to throw tactical from the left hand. I don't know what that's up. That, what change that's going to have really? Okay, this is good. They've 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 reduced pure fire. Get they've reduced the usage of the the duration. Uh, they've reduced the duration of the usage duration of the pure fire again. So they did that last season. Didn't really do much. Hopefully, it will uh, be a more slightly more a somewhat more significant uh, reduction in the uh, use time. Then we have the reactor core reducing radiation damage. Okay, reactor core is really annoying and like hard point and 
um, domination games. So uh, that's, I'm glad to see this one go. But then they they buffed some of the most annoying ones ever, like the, the high is basically sending out a whole bunch of trip mines. Basically, the trap duration will re- even after. So this is annoying now. Even and damage increased as well. That's gonna be the hive broken because at least if the pair died, then all, all that hives left. But um, now that now that they and with the increased damage, it's gonna make the uh, hive really broken next season I guess but especially with hard points and stuff you're actually going to have to shoot the hives um, before you're able to go on hard points and then the bull charge I always hated the bull charge will still will still be in in use even if the player hits an object other than the any player what oh that was actually that, that, that made the that made the bull charge actually kind of balanced was the fact that if you hit something other than it it would like break that's on fast and the area damage I was going to make it so broken that's gonna be so. This is gonna be so annoying. They're gonna be spamming hives, bull charge, and bull charges, aren't they? Oh, that's gonna be so. Like if if you're down, if 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 you've got the bull charge and, you've, and there's a small coral door, you just charge straight down that with no no penalties. Ballistic sealed, able to stand against explosions. I'm not looking forward to that one. Ballistic shields, ballistic shields are already good enough for camping and um, holding hard points. That's going to make it even more broken. Not, 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 for, not enjoyable. Not enjoyable. And then we have the equalizer: increased damage, increased movement speed, and increased shooting duration. Um, I think the equalizer needs a buff. To be honest, they weren't the best to this begin with, but it's nice to see they're getting improved damage and movement speed. Um, yeah, so maybe they'll be more viable next season. It probably will be. And then for BR, and multiplayer perks, overclocked is getting increased recharge speed boost this is going to be uh, interesting with the uh, introduction of the um, with the introduction of the uh, buffs to like stuff like the hive and stuff that might make the hive like a lot more spammable and like the ballistic shield and all that sort of thing a lot more spammable which might be fun the f- quick fix is getting nerfed that's, that's, oh wow okay so quick fix is getting when it triggered HP will start recovering but at a slower than normal rate okay so so basically, when it's triggered, it you will regen slower. Um, it's not. I don't think it'll be too significant, I guess. And unless you're getting into multiple gunfights at the same time, which I guess is where it was most powerful. So it's going to be better if you're not having like sitting back and camping now. So that's unfortunate. That's making basically making it a lot weaker. So it's unfortunate. Why would be used less now? Fire tactical mass increases the re- increases increase the reduction of enemy tactical equipment and your effect situation. Um, that's decent, I would say, Tactical Mask. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I've really used it, but um, that's a very useful perk, I guess, now, for all the thermite spamming and stuff. And then we have Alert, Increased Footsteps, Hearing, and Footstep and Hearing, ra- footstep, hearing Radius. Um, that could be very good for, for S&D, that could be very, very good. Um, so we'll probably see that more in the S- in ranked S and D. And finally, BR the Jackal's reduced HP. I know I always found the Jackal really annoying. So at least it's now has less HP, so it's easy to shoot down, which is a really good thing. Okay, then that, as you can see on the on the side here, there are a couple of um, there are a couple of muffs and nerfs that got um, that got left off. So the switchblade, fortunately, is getting a damage and range decrease and a and an ADS bullet spread accuracy decrease. I ask me that's um, that's good because the the um switchblade was so broken it's been broken for a while now so it's gonna be out of the meta finally that's gonna be really nice but no more no switchblade's bad and then the gravity rocket's gone no longer affects the user I always hated when I kill myself with the gravity rocket's gone so that is a might make it slightly unpowered but it's still I I would say a decent um a decent uh, buff I would say okay. <laughs>